What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode, we continue to hang out at the Dotson Wildlife Preserve. We check out one of the local beaches, or actually a couple of the local beaches as the Florida starts to open up. And we see Vic and Tammy's brand new kayaks for the first time. This is the Motorhome Experiment. You're moving this all. Oh, sorry. Before we get too far into this video, this is actually the kind of the second time that they've seen Vic and Tammy's kayaks because we were doing a flashback in the last video, and so I kind of ruined the reveal of their new kayaks. They're just cool. But they're I mean, but they are cool. That's all you need to know. They're cool because you don't even have to paddle. They just motor. <laughs> yeah, so you'll see that in this episode. Check it out. Vic and Tammy are converting the garage on mom's house to a room for them or living space for them when they're in town so you're gonna have to do some before and afters here they're gonna we're getting ready to stay in the floor or Vic's getting ready to stay in the floor you getting ready to stay in the floor yeah we are do you know what you're doing no <laughs> it's awesome he just flies by the seat of his pants I love it Vic starts out by hosing down the cement to give the stain a little bit of movement then he throws on a little bit of green underneath add some color and then after it goes over with some orange and then finally follows it up with some dark leather color and then once you add the clear coat it turns into an absolutely stunning floor ready to move in lori was just making some dinner and look at that look at that who did you get that from do you remember I, don't remember. Oh, I, I just know, put her on the spot. I know it's Dave and Shirley's friend, but I cannot remember your name. All right. Well, we apologize. We met a lot of people at the RV thing. It is really cool. I know, and we met them at Quartz too. All right. So, so we'll have bad. to figure that out, and we apologize, but like we suck at this stuff. Let's uh, remember our names. But we were told that a new baby cow was out here, and we know one was born last week, but supposedly there's a newer one. So we're gonna oh, I can check see this it. out. It's a little that is behind the bush. You cannot see it behind that little bush. Are we gonna walk out there, or are we gonna get attacked by the I'm not cow? Out there. You I'm gonna walk I'm... out there and I record. No, I'm gonna walk out there with the camera. Okay. All right, I'll go take a picture I of the baby just cow. I go to the branch here, and that's as close as I get. Okay. Oh, that's the other little one. Oh yeah, there's the other new little one over there too. Okay, cool. We'll try to get pictures of both of them. There's two little ones over there. They're chasing each other around. It's gonna be hard to see. They're coming up by mom's right now. But then the other little one is over here in front of Lori with you this. Can see the brown and white cow is right behind. Yeah. So I'm gonna walk out there and try to get a picture. Lori wants me to record this entire time because she thinks I'm going to get eaten by a cow. She doesn't understand how these cows work. They're probably going to run away from me when I get too close. Yeah, mom wants baby to leave. See the baby cow right there. Zoomed in that far, it's going to be a little blurry. There's a smaller one there. It was all going well as they were running off in the opposite direction until one took a stand and these two babies come by and then one by one, they all took a stand. Just then. <laughs> they started getting up on me. You got to close. Huh? You got to close. <laughs> they were all running away. And then all of a sudden they turn around and come back. Stop they harassing work. the babies. Yeah. They got pissed. It's like they all have radios, like they radio each other. Stranger, danger, come close. <laughs> but I got pictures of the, good, the other little one running right by. Yeah. The one that was born last week. But that other one, yeah, he's only a few days old probably. Yeah. Vic was hoping though. He was hoping. I should have had the... I didn't even think to have it on when I was running away. This morning is somewhat of a sad day here at the Dotson Wilderness 
ranch. We don't know what we're calling it yet. Just got out of the shower, so my hair is a mess, but our buddy Dave is leaving, so we're heading out here to say goodbye. He is on his way back up to Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota or Wisconsin. He's going to try and say both of those at the same time. She didn't hug me though. <laughs> okay, I'm on All my right. way. All right, Dave, we'll see you later. All right. We're going to miss you. You stay in touch. Vic, what are you going to do without your warehouse manager? Yeah. Uh, wait till <laughs> next year. <laughs> see ya. Oh, don't mind me. My shot of him leaving. All right, Dave has left. It is May 9th. Oh, we're gonna check out the floor here quick before we head out. Check this out. Look at that. Hopefully you can see that. But today is May 9th. The beaches have been open for a little over a week here in Florida. And we're gonna go down and check it out just to see what's going on. We're not going down to hang out on the beach or uh, do too much walking down there. We're gonna kind of do a drive through but things are slowly opening up here in Florida, so we're gonna go check it out. Do a drive out. Yep. You guys ready to get out a little bit? Yes. Yep. Finally. So yeah, I know there's uh, different uh, thoughts out there on what's going on, how to open, how to keep things shut down. We should say shut down to 2025 and all that, but uh, the slow opening I think is the way to go. Just gotta be smart and safe, so we're gonna go out and lick doorknobs we have hand sanitizer. shake babies oh look at the hawk on the wire oh, there yep Vic, did you get stain on my is that stain no that's bird poop brown yeah so what is the place we're going to today folks boca grand boca grand and what is down there rich people <laughs> cool we're going at to beach. hang out with the rich people at the beach that's awesome Beach, like and there's a lighthouse that's probably still closed and um, there's some shops that are probably closed yeah a lot of the shops and things are probably still going to be be closed but they're allowing you to at least get out and visit the beach which is which is nice so it'll be good to get out This part of the beach that we're out on here, there's not that many people out here. There's a few, but everyone's kind of keeping their distance from everybody and being respectful of everyone's distance. So it's pretty cool, really. It's a beautiful beach. The water is that super turquoisey color. Just spectacular out here today. Love bugs are in full swing. Check out the front. And the windshield on this thing. That is craziness. We gotta wash those off. Those things are acidic as heck.
we wound up coming to a place called Sharky's down on the beach. And you can see how they've got uh, like almost like every other table that's kind of shut down. Even behind us here, that table's open. This one's shut down. That one's shut down. Uh, or that one's open. So nobody gets too close to each other. It's actually, yeah, disposable menus. All the wait staff are wearing masks. They're cleaning everything after everybody leaves, as you can see. So they're doing their best to keep everybody safe. So it's kind of cool. And you're not really packed in close to other people. So it's a really been a pretty cool experience. We are now shopping at uh, Costco and they make you put on a mask when you come in, which I'm not fond of. Honey, yes. this mask really makes me realize I should have had onions for lunch. Now you know when you feel my pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really sorry. And I, I was just saying I need to brush my teeth probably. <laughs> but the drive back, check this out. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the windshield or not. Vic should but, clean his windshield more often. But yeah, Vic, what's uh, up with your cleaning the windshield maybe every now and then? Uh, takes too much money. Yeah. We're in love bug season and it is just crazy. And then the whole front of the car will just be destroyed when we get back. But and he was like three weeks we'll wash that off because they're not good for your car. not great for your wax. If there's any wax on the car, the Don's gonna take it all off. Well, don't worry, love bugs will do that anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, we're about to go kayaking again with, this time we're taking Vic and Tammy, or they're taking us, but I think we need to talk to them about kayak, what kayaking really is, Lori. Yeah, this is not really quite a kayak. Yeah, so we'll show you guys here in just a sec when we get to the, the water. Okay. The question is, you Floridians actually do that? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, see now if you notice, what's wrong with theirs is that they're moving without them paddling because they have electric motors. Is that the wrong thing or the right thing? Yeah, those things will do like 60 miles an hour. 60? Yeah, once they get up on the hydrofoils. Oh. There's no hydrofoils. But works pretty darn good, doesn't it? A little bit easier than paddling. Well, I don't. I'm not paddling. Lori's paddling, but it's not hard for me. We are out here at a place called Little Lettuce Lake. It's a little offshoot of the Peace River, where we paddled the other day, and this is uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Ooh, I see another deal on a boat up ahead. Lori, you gotta paddle faster. You're you're paddling much slower than Vic's paddling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my god, it's so cheating. <laughs> How you doing back there, Tammy? Yeah, it's, it's not too hard paddling, is it? Uh, <laughs> That's funny. The current here at this part of the river is so strong that we don't even have to paddle. It's awesome. 
<laughs> we should go tell them more often. We should have Vic and Tammy take us kayaking more. Their kayaking's fun. Yep, just another day out here on the river. How are you doing, Tam? I'm, I'm good. Laura, you doing all right? Yeah, just another day in Florida. Yep. Vic, how you doing? Doing good. All right, cool. This is the only way to kayak. <laughs> the way to take off. Done kayaking. That was pretty cool. You, you guys have fun? Yeah, we had fun. Yeah? Everybody had fun? They had more fun than we did. <laughs> I can't feel my arms. <laughs> I'm challenging you to golf tonight. <laughs> what I didn't quite catch on video, Lori caught a little bit of it, was the cows were not quite happy with me being out in the field checking out the baby cows and they and revolted and I have chased to me say, down. I wish I would have gone like by the time I went running and got my phone to record him, it was just too late. It was the very end of the chase, but just to see all the cows moving towards him, just running towards him, that was hilarious. Yeah, I don't know if what I, maybe they thought I had food. I don't know. They didn't seem pleased that I was there, so I decided to leave, uh, especially when the bull shows up. But yes, I uh, lost the farm boy. I'm just, I don't, the farm boy has completely left me. I can see that. Now, with that being said, it's not recorded, but he actually got to have a one-on-one -on -one and pet the bull. Yeah, I did pet the yeah. bull, which is really <laughs> weird. Uh, if you guys ever saw the movie Wild Hogs where they slap the bull, that's a whole different thing. But I actually petted the bull, which was crazy. It came right up to me at the at the RV and uh, it was just like hanging out as I was petting him on the head. Very, very strange deal. But uh, as you saw, Vic and Tammy's kayaks were extremely cool. Although, I wouldn't classify them as kayaks. It's more like mini boats yeah jet skis you have the option it's kind of, kind of like an electric bike you have the option of just like paddling or you have the option of using the motor but paddling from that up high i think it's harder to do mm. it so they just opt for the motoring and it, it it was amazing very very cool more like jet boats kinda. more when we got tired and they have to tow us yeah that's when it got really really cool <laughs> but we had a lot of fun checking out the op open beaches was really cool People were uh, keeping their distance. The beaches weren't packed, at least the ones we went to. I don't know about the rest of the Florida beaches, but I don't see why people can't be outdoors and on the no, beach if they're keeping their keeping they were, their distance. They were empty. They were pretty empty for what they are used to be or what they told us. Like usually it's pretty packed. And when we went, there was a few people there. Everybody keeping their space, including ourselves. Even though we were walking through, we would just keep our space with everybody else. But it was beautiful. I think the most crowded was more like the boats on the water. There were I a think. lot of boats out on the water, but again, of course, you're still somewhat social well, distancing you, you because they're to, parked yeah, on the because sand. It's not like you can be right, right next to each right. other. Right, but there were a ton of boats out there. But overall, Boca Grande was really, really cool, and hopefully once all of this stuff lifts, we'll be able to get out there another time. Yes. This is where we're gonna end this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means they have to. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It would be equally as cool if you like the video, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Bye, guys. We missed so many things of Florida and Clint and Disney. Yeah, uh, Disney's right wah, wah, wah. over there. We cannot go. We can't go. And we can't go in here because supposedly the alligator and the snakes will eat us. I think you can go. You cannot swim there, but I think you can paddle. I'm not sure. You have fun. I'm not putting the kayak myself.